unajua uh, bado kuna trend imetokea yenye siku hizi watu wana renew wedding which is very good so unapata bibi harusi yako 60 na bwana harusi yako 65 70 yuko they are renewing their wedding chesho wangu pia ali renew yake it was colorful according to them but sasa shida <laughs> yeah, according to them but sasa shida ilikuwa ku organize huyu nini huyu planner wedding plan alikuwa na shida kubwa sana juu ya kwanza committee committee ilikuwa hapo ya yeah? akaanza zile za alikuwa dem so akwa zile za ah uh, tuliamua keki ya bibi ya harusi itakuwa like uh, ya strawberry smarty strawberry strawberry kwani unadhani hawa ni sugar mami na sugar daddy eh keki ya strawberry hawa ni watu wenye sukari inawasubua uko na eh? uko na keki ya cucumber hivi eh ama vitu hazina sukari sukari sana akasema aki you guys aki you are changing like everything Okay the other thing to liona nyinyi kama committee ni vizuri mkipe bride uh, like gift na the best gift ni kuape bed ya 6 by 6 king size sema ti king size ya nini ya kazi gani na hao watu wararagi pamoja <laughs> yeah? Abu Adika da Bodeka Dabo deka. Moja na rara juu mwingine chini. Unajua kwa hiyo harusi I noted that kuna wa, kulikuwa na audience kubwa sana, ya? Yeah? Lakini kulikuwa na wamama. Unajua pia wamama kuna wamama wanaendanga kwa harusi for different agendas. Kuna wenye wanaendanga harusi, basi sasa kazi yao ni kushinda wakishtuka, kitu hata ife ishtukiliwe. Wako zile za Harusi inasaidia gamutu. Harusi inasaidia gamutu. Kama hule ni, nini kayuni anafanana hivyo. Eh? Kama nyanya imeiva. <laughs> na kitabu alikuwa anakaa kama chapati. Mweupe na madoa doa. Madoa doa. Eh? Inasaidia gamutu sana. Harusi ni kitu ya maana. Angalia fanya natembea. Woi! Kai, angalia bodo wa pole. Woi! Eh? Acha nikwambie harusi za kuchagiwa ni baya. Ya? Alafu sasa kuna wenye wao, sasa kazi yao ni kujaji. Wako kwa harusi ya wenye, basi sasa kazi yao ni kujaji. Uuuuuui. Kwa ni walichonea wana harusi suti dogo. Huh? Inamshika, inamshika. Oi, hata imeshaigia lunch. Gaji. Oi, oi, anashaga ataitoaje. Hii. Hm? Lakini hai viru. Sai, alafu kuna wale wa mama wa kupika. Wenye wanaendanga kwa harusi but sasa wamehaiwa, waende wapike. Wale hao wa mama wanaanzishanga everything, wanatumianga everything kuanzisha udaku. Naompata jikoni yako. Ikitugu inawasha. Kai <laughs> inaonesha na kuna mtu anawasho na hii harusi. Wewe <laughs> 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 unaja kwa church uh, nilienda 31st kurukisha mwaka kwa church. Unajua mwaka place inakupata ndio inakuacha. Mi niliona wacha nipate na iniwache kwa kanisa. Ni kitu ya umuhimu sana. Sasa kwa kanisa no, kuna kuanga place yenye pasta na semanga. Sasa ni wakati ambao unachukua wakati kama dakika kumi unamwongelesha Bwana. Unamwambia kitu personal. Sa? Kuna watu wanaendanga wanaomba wanaomba kama wa, kwa wall kuna wenye wanatembeanga hivyo wakiomba Mungu Baba Na kuna sasa wamama wenye kazi yao ni kusikiza maombi ya wenyewe. Adi unapata ameshtuka. <laughs> Mwadhani, Mungu Baba unapokubuka unipo heri hata unipite urukie kamau. <laughs> eh? Alafu unapata wanaitana. Haya wamama wa Jemedari eh nini guild 
tutafatana 30 minutes after ibada unadhani wanaenda ku discuss kitu wa maana wapi hizo maombi za watu ndio wanaenda ku discuss nasema mimi nilikuwa kwa kona ninaoba unajua ni january naoba nini school fees school fees nikiwa hapo nikasikia kamau kamau anaoba mambo ya nini ya kaswede Amu unapata sasa after hapo wana discuss kuna issue ingine very urgent hiyo hata kama ni mambo ya kanisa itasimama ha itabidi imesimama hiyo mambo lazima tu tuone venye tutaitatua tatu tatu haraka haraka wapendo acha niwaambie matres ya pasta inafinya mtu mugogo <laughs> How you doing? You're all good. You've been looking fine, honey. With that banana looking dress. So say ni la giri. Wana na rumwa sema ti o wana pena machali na choro. Benye ni me ni me kati wa tangu ni nyoe. Ni liamua GMO. Kamba ya mba ya. But uh, at last Uganda. Uganda wali nini wali vote the same same thing happened yeah hadi Uganda Uganda unajua say imewekwa kwa dictionary juu it's a name with two meanings kuna Uganda the first meaning means uh, a country like i'm going to Uganda that's a country hiyo ingine ni adjective hiyo ni noun ingine ni adjective dema kuja akwambie you are so Uganda it means you never change <laughs> You are the same eh na ndio maana nimeweka nywele ndio i should not be uganda you know but the reason why uganda high change is because it's a land locked country hiyo lock unless we toy lazima watoe hiyo lock ndio wakuwe na change but kulikuwa na hizi malayon of judah zenye zilikuwa huku nini hapo langata Izo izo malayo nini warasta walisema wachane nazo achana nazo hizo ni malayo of judas imekuja ku overtake kingdom ya jajare izo 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 achana nazo unajua the funny thing ni watu wa, wa Kenya walikuwa naziona wanakimbia they run away from them wazungu wangekuwa naziona wangekuwa nazikimbilia oh my god i just can't believe a lion this can be meaning something we should investigate or maybe i should write a book Lions on a tarmac road. Yeah. A good book uh, indeed. But ka, it got me think about zile documentary zenye zinakuanga na TGO. Mnazionanga? Wazungu wanapeanga hizo wao wanyama majina. Za huko ile za watu. Umeizi watch. Ka kuna ingine yenye nilikuwa na watch juzi nikasikia ah. Uh, it is in the heart of Masai Mara that we look at John <laughs> John he's seated all alone he's stressed from the look of things he looks around and sees Pamela wow she's beautiful but the problem is that she is still young she's only nine months old what a bad day for John John he's just an ordinary hyena Ama venye unajua but eh ka kuna mtu mwenye anaweza fanya ununue manyata for 50m ni maina kageni Unasikia ndio hizo advice zake He anapenda kuchocha Let's just go. Oh my god, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a manyata. Manyata. It's made of concrete of 
our clay soil, sand soil, and cow dung. And what, what more probably is this cow dung comes from a Jesse cow, which comes all the way from Germany. Oh my God, what am I talking about? I'm talking about you go to that manyata and you feel the freshness of the cow dung. Oh, you don't get... You don't get this anywhere in the world. It goes for only 50 million shillings. Ladies, 50 million shillings. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a five-year investment. In five years, you'll be able to sell this manyata for 100 million shillings. There are only three of them and I've already bought two. <laughs> Mwangi wa KBJ, I see you. Wakanai. Lafu kuna vitu zingine zinafanyanga kunywa whisky. Hata si, si vitu za kukunywa whisky. <laughs> Kwa kuna ate mingine, msina shona za mpigia. Maina. Talk to me, my dear. <laughs> Maina, let me tell you something. You can't believe this, but Maina. <sighs> Maina, I'm a woman. Oh my God, I need whisky. <laughs> Oh!